if you don't play golf and you want to know if you can wear this shoe as a normal Jordan 1, you gotta watch this video. Hey yo, what up people, this is your boy Jason G. Kicks, and today we are back with another video. And for today's review guys, we have the Jordan 1 Golf Black and White, AKA the Pandas. We're gonna review this shoe and I'm gonna tell you if you can wear this shoe normally, like, like for casual wearing or something, yeah, I'm gonna answer all the questions that you have about this shoe on today's video. But before we go into that, please let me ask you to go and hit the thumbs up if you're liking the content. Also go and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Activate the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a video, which is every single day, guys. Also go follow me on my Instagram and on TikTok as Jason J Kicks. And now let's begin this video. This shoe has a really dope colorway as you can see because it has almost the same color blocking as the black and white AKA Panda Jordan 1. Main difference between the colorway between these and the Jordan 1 High Panda is in the ankle area that this one has it in black and the regular Jordan 1 has it in white as we can see just right here. Look at that right here. This is the regular one. This is not the High 85. This is the regular one. And this is the golf version of the shoe. As you can see, pretty similar shoes, just that this one has the ankle area in black. Now, this is not the only difference between these and a regular pair of Jordan 1 High. There's actually some differences, like the outsole, which is the main difference between these two pair of shoes. As we can see here, we have this golf traction on the shoe. Look at that right there. Yeah, that's the main difference between this shoe and a regular pair of Jordan 1. As we can see right here, the tractions are different. This is the regular one. This is the one that comes with this golf shoe, but it's pretty obvious. I mean, this shoe is mainly to play golf in them. Look at that, but they look clean. They look clean. And I don't know, all you want to know is, can you wear this shoe normally outside on street? Well, I think you can because you can see right here that this is not super noticeable. I mean, on feet, no one's going to tell this is a golf shoe unless they really pay attention and they look at the tone right here because in the tone tag, the shoe says golf right here under the black Jumpman. But other than that, it's going to look just like another regular Jordan 1. And these specifically, that there's such a nice colorway, really essential color on the issue, black, white, easy to wear with any outfit. This is a must have in anyone's collection. Even if you're not collecting shoes and you just want a nice pair of shoes to, to put any outfit and be ready to go, this colorway is a must have. That's why I'm gonna try to go for the 85 Jordan 1 black and white, AKA Pandas because man, look at this colorway, man. But having these, if you can't get the 85 and you have these, I think you're gonna be good to go. Because as you can see right here, you can even tell the difference on feet. And actually the traction feels good. It's not gonna bother you on feet or anything. It actually feels comfortable, a little bit more comfortable than a regular Jordan 1. Not something that's gonna blow your mind, but it's actually really hard to feel the difference. So I'm gonna say it's nearly the same as a regular Jordan 1, but yeah, you can definitely wear the shoe outside like a normal pair of shoes because the traction on this shoe, it's not super crazy. And eventually with the time, if you wear this shoe a lot, this, this traction is gonna fade to a point that I think it's gonna look just like a regular Jordan 1, you feel me? And if this is something that really bother you, I think you can do it manually. Just get something to, to, to fade the, the traction here. And again, you're gonna be good to go. Now, man, something that I like about this shoe, going into the details, is this big Winx logo that we have here. As some of you know, I'm a big fan of Winx logo and this nice, big, gigantic Winx logo that we have here looks really nice. 
they should do this type of Wings logos in regular Jordan 1 because this really pop and looks really nice in my opinion. The materials that they use on this shoe, I have to say that they are good. You can feel the leather quality if you have this shoe in hand and feels good. It's not nothing premium, not even close to premium, but it's really good. This typical Jordan 1 leather quality that we have here. The leather on the black areas of the shoe is actually better than the one in the white areas. The, the leather feels pretty, pretty normal, I'm gonna say, pretty like, you know, not, not tumble leather, not something that is gonna prevent the creasing to look bad or anything. This is just regular leather. Creasing is not a problem for me. I don't care about creasing the shoes. I'm gonna wear my shoes and I actually like the way the creasing make the Jordan 1 looks. I actually like that a lot. And I don't think this is gonna be a super bad creasing sneaker now, but the quality is not the best. And for the retail price of this shoe, I feel like the quality could be better. Retail price on this shoe was actually $180 plus taxes. And for a golf shoe, I was like, really? Are you charging the same price for these than for a regular pair of Jordan 1s, for real? I thought the retail price on this could be like 160 or 150 or something like that. But actually the Jordan 1 low golf are going for 150. The retail price is 150 on the Jordan 1 low golf. The high is going for 180, that's kind of crazy. And this shoe is actually not a pure Jordan 1 high because the height on this shoe is not as high as on a regular pair of Jordan 1. Look at that right there. You can see the height clearly difference right there. So yeah, that's another difference. I can make a full video comparing these to a regular pair of Jordan 1 so you can see all the difference between these shoe because there's some differences and if I include all the difference in this video, it's gonna be an extremely long video. So let's go into the aspect of the shoe. The shoe comes with a pair of black laces set up, pre-set up with the black laces super tight. I've never seen a pair of Jordan 1 brand new as tight as this shoe comes. And also the shoe comes with an extra set of laces in white, as you can see here. If you wanna give this shoe a cleaner look, you can swap the laces for the white ones. I think they're gonna look super good with the white ones, but the black laces are actually cool. Something else that I didn't like because of the um, retail price of the shoe was actually the box. Let me show you the box right here. It's just the regular box that we have and the Jordan 1 lows and Jordan 1 meat. I'm not a fan of this box because I think it's really plain, feels really cheap. It's just a black box with the gold jumpman right there and there's nothing else, that's it. That's the box that we have on this pair of Jordan 1 High Gold. The shoe also comes with this note telling you all the information about it. You can pause the video and read it if you need to. Now, I already answered the main question that you wanted to know. Yes, you can wear this shoe outside on street casually. And if you don't get the Jordan 1 High 85 and you really want this colorway, this is a great alternative because like I said, you can wear this shoe with any outfit, just normally, casually, and it looks super good for real. I think I'm gonna stay with this shoe for a little bit. If I get the Jordan 1 High 85, these are going back to the store. But as of right now, I'm super happy with this shoe because I love this colorway, the Panda colorway. And don't get into this controversy of don't call these shoe pandas. These are not pandas. You're disrespecting the Jordan 1 calling these shoe pandas. Man, what make a panda shoe a panda shoe is the colorway, black and white. Not that the shoe is a Nike Dunk. That's not the reason why the Nike Dunks are being called Panda. The reason why Nike Dunks black and white are called Pandas is because they are black and white just like a Panda. You see, you'll learn something new right here on the channel because apparently none of you knew that the reason why the Pandas are called Pandas is because they're black and white like a Panda. For real. But whatever, going back to this, Outstanding shoe, beautiful colorway that yes, you can wear this shoe outside of a golf court. Really nice, I like it. Really clean shoe. I just wish that they would go all in with the panda color blocking, making the ankle area in white, not black, but still black. Looks really clean, easy to wear shoe. And if you want it, go for them because this shoe is still sitting in Nike out full size run at the moment of recording of this video. 
So don't sleep on it if you want it, go get it right now. If that retail price of 180 don't bother you at all, you can go and grab this beautiful pair of Jordan 1 High Golf. Now, the height on this shoe, I said it, it's a little shorter than a regular pair of Jordan 1, but it's not gonna bother you anyway. On feet looks super good. Man, I said it all. Beautiful pair of shoes, the Jordan 1 High Black and White, if you like to call them like that, I'm gonna call them Pandas. Beautiful shoe, beautiful shoe that this outsole ain't gonna bother you wearing this shoe outside. If this video helped you in any way, please let me invite you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Of course, leave a like if you're liking the content, share the video with your friends so more people know about what we're doing on this channel. Go follow me on my Instagram and on TikTok as JasonJKX. And until the next one, guys, <laughs> goodbye.